Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a natural, everyday makeup look. Um, so this is just the final look. So if you want to see how I got to this, just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing I do is start with just a clean face and then um, before I do any makeup, I always put on this Clinique lotion. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, so we'll do this first. I just get a little bit of it, rub it, put it on my face. So then that way it's moisturized before we get started. And then the next thing that I do is I get my damp beauty blender and then the foundation that I use is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation. It just looks like this. Um, mine is in the shade Ivory and put a little bit on my hand. And then just go to town. I put it on my forehead. And I mean, I am no expert on this, so I really don't know what I'm doing. This is just what I do every day. And I look like a normal person, so I'm going to keep doing it. Next cheek. And you dab it rather than rub it. That's what I know. Get up in your creases, make sure it doesn't crease, but get up there in the corners. It does a little bit of coverage, not like too much, and that's what I like about this foundation. Just because I don't need like a ton of coverage on me. Like I like it light enough that you can like still kind of see my freckles and stuff like that, that it's not like so caked on there. So I'm gonna take my Morph. Um, concealer and this is in the shade C1.55 this one's from Ipsy I take my concealer and I just put it underneath my eyes and then I always do like a little bit right here and on my chin just to get a little bit better coverage that way just because those are like the problem spots and the under eyes are always a big deal so I always put the concealer under my eyes and sometimes I don't even do foundation I just put the concealer under my eyes because I wear a mask at work so I don't want foundation rubbing all over it all day long and since nobody sees the bottom half of my face and they only see my eyes that's all I do so then I just look like this after my foundation and then the next thing I do is take this air spun powder, um, air spun loose face powder. And then it always comes with like this little thing that I usually don't use. I just take this brush from Tarte. It came in a cute little like limited edition set. Like look at how cute these handles are. So I got this set of brushes. So I just use this brush to kind of put in my powder. And I pretty much just put it all over just to set it all in. So then we look like this. Now on to the actual makeup makeup. The next thing I do, my contour. So this is just the Tarte. Um, the Tarte Bronzer Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Dark Avenue Princess. So then I just take this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's the V3 brush. It's like a little bit tapered. I don't know. I don't even know if this is a brush for this, but I use it. So here we go. And I just contour. And this is not the darkest contour, but that's fine because I don't really like contour that much. Just because like, I feel like every time I do it, I look like an idiot. 
So I do that. Just blend it everywhere. And now I'm gonna take my Shina, Shayna B blush that looks like this, maybe. I have the hardest time, there we go. The Shayna B Miami blush in the shade Guava Glow. I'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I sometimes put it on my forehead just to like kind of give it that all around color, like so. Use the Space Case um, Cosmetics Highlighter. And this is um, in the shade 1E. So I'll just use the same brush. I use the same brush for blush, bronzer, and highlight. So come at me. I use my highlighter right here. Just at the top of my cheeks. And then you do it like right there on the tip of your nose. And you Cupid's peak, crow's peak, Cupid's peak. I don't know. Look at that shine. Perfect. So then it looks like that. That's my face. Next thing I do is my eyebrows. Um, I have to admit, I don't really ever do my eyebrows, so I'm only doing it for this video and when I'm actually really, 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 really trying on my makeup. So this is one of the times that I'm really trying on my makeup. So this is the Maybelline New York Brown Precise Brow Perci Precise Micro Crayon. Just looks like this. Um, so I always kind of brush out my eyebrows first. Kind of comb them, I guess. Make them look cute. I don't know. Eyebrows. And then I really don't like color them that much, so I'm just gonna go in just a little bit, kind of finish them out. Don't really know what I'm doing. Don't know if this is making a difference, but we're just gonna go with it, act like I know what I'm doing love that for me okay eyebrows cute don't know what I do with them so I don't really do them okay and then my eyes I always do my covergirl lash blast primer I just recently got this and I don't know what I've been doing without primer for this long so I do my primer on my eyelashes first so I put this on looks cute because it's all white on your eyelashes so love that so I look like a ghost for a second and then while I let that dry I do my eyeshadow and this is just the BH cosmetics um, marble collection warm stone palette and it just looks like this it's obviously very used I've had this for quite a while so I just use this Tarte brush. It's in the same little set with the cute little um, detailing on the handle. But as you can tell, I've used this so much that it is like gone. It's all rubbed off, so love that. Um, so I always start with this right here in my creases, or in my corner, I mean. Oh, that's so dark. I don't ever do it like that. What the? Um, so I do it with the creases, the corners. Holy. Okay, whatever. So this is going to be dramatic. These are going to be some dramatic guys. Sorry. Everyday makeup turned dramatic. So I always do the corners first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is bad. Ah. Okay, it looks okay on camera. So we're just gonna pretend I know what I'm doing again. Yay, this eye's so much darker than this eye. Ah, panic. Uh, okay. So 
so I pretty much put it in the corner but I spread it all over my eyelids to kind of spread it out so here we are <gasps> oh my gosh my life okay and then I'm gonna go in with this light pink color today and just kind of do it in like the inside corner not all the way in and then same thing on the other side just kind of make it a little bit lighter oh this is terrible okay it doesn't look bad it does not look bad Hannah you're doing good you're doing good okay and then I always just take like whatever's left on my brush and do it like underneath my eyes um but yeah so this actually looks pretty good I'm not disappointed that was a lot of eyeshadow that I put on but whatever we're gonna go with it and then I'm just taking this light white color and putting it right here in my crease and then kind of blending it out like so same thing on the other side blend it out so then it pops and then I usually do a little bit up here by my brow to kind of give it that pop keep in mind I also don't do eyeshadow every single day of my life and if I do it's just whatever's left on my brush I don't like actually take the time to do it but for this video I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing again so yeah there's my eyeshadow pretty I don't know you could judge but don't judge too hard I'm gonna take my eyelash curler this is the Mary Kay eyelash curler and I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes just a little bit so they look good and then the mascara that I use is the Maybelline lash stiletto mascara and then if you know me and I've talked in other videos I use multiple mascaras so then I always have multiple so then I use the Mary Kay lash love mascara that just looks like this and then the other one that I have going on right now is the thrive cosmetics just a little sample one so I'm gonna go in with my lash stiletto first because you know Madison Pruitt I got this because I loved her eyelashes so love bachelor so I go through with this so here's my first layer of mascara See? See the difference? Looks good. Eyelashes. Now I'm going to put it on the bottom. Finish it out. Just look like this. Uh, is the Half Caked Super Glazed just kind of nude lipstick. I also don't use this every day because I work and I have a mask so I don't need to have my lips look good. But here we are doing it for the video. There you go. So now I have all of my makeup on and it just looks like this. Um, yeah, I got my highlighter, I got my bronzer, I got my foundation, my eyeshadow, everything. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below what videos you guys would like to see like it if you want to subscribe if you want to and i will just see you guys in my next video bye